Hello there. I thought I needed a new project. My current project, this one, is coming to an end. I don't have much to do on it. So I thought I needed something new. It's arrived. These are from a company called uh, Crafties. I haven't ordered from Crafties before. What I really love is that this company is teaming up with small artists to create kits of beautiful artworks. Uh, so instead of, you know, this craft tends to be flooded with images that have just been taken without asking. And so I thought, oh, I'd really love to order and give a company a go that's really trying to change practice and, and do something great. So I ordered one diamond art kit and one paint by number. Um, now they don't know me, they don't know I'm making a video about this stuff. Um, I've just, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to get the YouTuber treatment at all. So I just ordered these um, to try this company out. The diamond painting arrived First, obviously they're coming from separate factories uh, because they arrive separately, which is totally fine with me. Ooh, ooh, oh baby, look at you, aren't you gorgeous? All right, so this is the image that I ordered. It is by a French artist uh, called uh, Sabille art and they've got quite a few of her images on the website and I just think they are so beautiful just gorgeous so this is a poured glue kit diamond painting has come a long way since I started uh, a couple of years ago uh, these poured glue kits are the newer type of kit and they tend to be what you will see around most now. So instead of that adhesive layer which is you know like a little plastic layer which is just stuck on and tends to get you know bubbles and um, rivers in it, these poured glue kits um, the adhesive layer is poured on in, in one go. If you get a poured glue kit, those those bubbles and lumps that you get um, in the in the sticky layer are a thing of the past. Fantastic! This this looks beautiful. The font is all the same the whole way through. It is really really nice and clear. I'm really happy with that. Let's have a look at these beads. Oh yeah. These colours. They are gorgeous. So this is a round kit. Uh, when I was on their website, I generally do prefer a square kit. I like that kind of the smooth mosaic look that I get from a square kit but you know I love everything I like rounds I like squares I'll have a go at at anything uh, and it seems like at the moment mm, uh, it seems like crafties are only doing round kits so uh, so although I would prefer a square rounds are what we've got at the moment these are the yellows Lovely. Oh, look at these real deep corals. That's so lovely. It's really nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. What else have we got here? Lots of these creams and yellows, obviously, for the background. turquoise there. That's beautiful. Ooh, here's something different. Look, can you see this? It is a 
it's not an iridescent, it is like a, it's the rhinestone. The rhinestone tucked on. Oh, more rhinestones. Purple rhinestones here. I've got icy blue pale rhinestones here. Lovely, lovely, really nice. So let's have a look at where they go. We have got number 24 is the purple rhinestones. Um, so they are around her, her flower earring here. The light blue rhinestones are dotted throughout her hair. And the, um, the butterfly coming down from the back of her headpiece and the top of her kimono here are all in the rhinestones. The dark turquoise rhinestones. They are also on the edge of the kimono here, around the edge of the butterfly and also throughout her hair. Oh, beautiful. That is lovely. All right, we've got the, the kit with all of the usual suspects. We've got a, a three-placer and a multi, uh, multi seven, multi seven, I think that one is. We've got a heap of pink wax. Not my favorite, I tend to use blue tack anyway, but it's nice to have. My favorite type of boat, which is the white one with the funnel. And uh, every day, regular type tweezers. And two little squishy grips. Now let's check out the size. So it was a 40 by 40. All right, and we are at uh, 39.5 by 39.5. So it is just a smidge short. Don't race out and buy a 40 by 40 frame um, until it arrives and just double check that it is exactly that. Otherwise you would, um, you would be a little bit short. You can see here it is the standard nine drills per inch, which is normal for round kits. Um, so square kits have 10 drills per inch. Sometimes you hear people say that square kits can have more detail than round kits. And that's why, because round kits are nine drills per inch, square drills are 10 drills per inch, which is the, you know, the what a photographer would call um, resolution in the terms of, you know, DPI. Uh, so square kits then have, you know, roughly around 10% more drills from side to side. The other great thing about these newer style poured glue kits is this uh, you know, thin cellophane type paper. It means that as soon as you get your canvas out of the box, it falls flat. If this was uh, a traditional, you know, uh, sticky layer kit with the white cover sheet, uh, I would have had to, um, you know, do a bit of work to this to get it to fall flat. But straight out of the box, straight out of the box, this um, this just falls beautifully flat. The canvas is 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 lovely and thick. The chart down the side here is really clear and easy to read. We have got 28 colours, which is lovely. I love a diamond painting with lots of colours. Uh, and so for a 40 by 40, 28 is, is actually is actually quite, quite a lot of colours, which means that we've got some beautiful shading throughout her face here. Isn't she beautiful? Gee, I love this art. This artist is just is just lovely. As soon as I saw her art on the website, I just knew that I had to have something from, from this collection. Her, her work is just sweet and whimsical and it's got this lovely illustrative style which is totally up my alley. I, I love this style of art. I think she's, uh, she's wonderful. I can see me having quite a few uh, from, from this artist in one way or another. 
I've got a little bit of time before the kids come home from school so I might shake some of these beads out lay down a couple and we can have a look I have put washi tape around the edge just that that little bit of edge that tends to catch fuzz um, I have just taped over that and with this cellophane I have just put down a row of washi tape just to roughly mark out this kind of top section that I'm going to start with and then once uh, I have got an, a nice edge then I'll bring you down and show you how I do it I can then using my blade just cut along the edge here you don't have to push down very hard to, uh, to, to cut through this top plastic it's really quite thin uh, and it cuts really easy and let's have a look at these diamonds the background is super tacky they fit together really nicely there's very very little very little debris at all and they are nice and sparkly I mean what else can we ask for what else can I want very little debris they go down nice there are absolutely no creases or wrinkles in this canvas it falls flat beautifully what more can I want so this color palette with all these pinks and yellows is just a dream to me it's um it's just beautiful Oh, now before I pack this up and move on to the next opening, the wonderful Brenda from Purple Pelican sent me this little bead tray organizer. It is just fantastic. They're handmade in the US. It's like that um, high density foam that it comes with the four trays, which are my favorite type. These, you know, the, the big, the large uh, funnel white boats they sit in there perfectly they're really secure I mean you could add velcro dots here if you wanted to um, you know I guess really create a big tower of them for your desk and that would look amazing and the kit actually does come with little velcro dots and I find that even without the velcro dots that it's really very sturdy and they they don't slide um, just because of the, the material that they're made out of I've used just a little bit of washi tape here just to indicate which color I have sitting in the boat and it's really so convenient to just be able to pick up the boat give it a shake and work on this color put it straight back on the tray where it's not going to bump it's not going to fall it's really secure and then you know go for the next color that you need so it comes with these uh, molded uh, little um, sections four little holes along the top which are um, these are little one inch containers from side to side so one inch fits in it just perfectly and I have just filled those up with some of the main background colors because that's what I will use the most in this project so um, thank you so much Brenda I absolutely love this um this this tray and i can honestly say that i will be using it for you know even even my smaller projects like this one which is just a 40 by 40 but uh, it, it is just so convenient and so handy that it um that it is, is really wonderful if anybody's interested i'll put a link uh down in the description uh if you want to check that out they're available on amazon and i also will put a link on my website as well all right i'm going to pack this up let's check out the paint by number by the same artist this is the reason I wanted to order from Crafties. We actively promote independent artists, collaborate with them by remunerating them for their hard work and inspiring art. I mean, let's be honest, the reason we buy these kits is because we love the art. And I, you know, when we know better, we do better, I guess. And in the past, we probably have all bought kits that had artwork that was taken without knowing because we didn't know that it was happening uh, but you know I, in recent months I've becoming aware of just how much artwork is is taken and stolen out there in this craft and I want to now really support these companies that are that are you know working with these artists to legitimately license their beautiful art that we all love this is lovely. Look how well packaged this is. Little thank you tag. This is really well packaged. Oh, lovely. Okay, we have got a rolled canvas. I'll have a look at that in a second. Got lovely paints which are vacuum sealed. Oh, I like that. So, not going to get any leakage. Uh, even when they come all the way to Australia, which is nice. 
I've got a little gizmo here, which uh, I'm guessing is oh yep, a little a little fold up paint pot holder. My reference photo. Look at this. So this artwork is called Chaperon Rouge and I'm guessing that is the French way of saying Red Riding Hood. I just think it is so lovely. Here we go. Mm, reference image which is wonderful. So if you paint over something and you have no idea exactly what the heck you were meant to be doing, that's where you refer back to. And this is the canvas. Oh gosh, I love it. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's get down here and have a bit of a closer look. Okay. The numbers are wonderfully clear. We have some light shading across the canvas, which I really love a shaded canvas because I like to paint section by section. Like I like to do backgrounds first, then, you know, some of the elements and objects that go on top of the background. Having that slight shading really helps me to identify what's what in the image. Oh, I really like that. I think she is beautiful. Look at her face, even just from the outline. I think she is so sweet and so lovely. This looks really nice. I'm very excited to give this a go. All right, let's see what size it is. It was meant to be a 40 by 40 as well. And we have got yeah, uh, a tiny smidge off shorter than 40 in, in both ways. So about 39.5 in both ways. And there is a good, uh, what have we got here? A good inch and a half of overhang around the edges. Now, what about brushes? No brushes in my kit. Is it meant to come with brushes? Maybe it, maybe that doesn't come with brushes. Um, contents, canvas, it does. It is meant to have brushes. Hmm. Maybe they're meant to be in here. Oh. Anyway, um, so yeah, mine didn't come with brushes, which I'm guessing is just a glitch. It is a good thing that I have my trusty Harry Potter cauldron here, complete with a arrangement of various cheap brushes that I have picked up from here and there so that will be okay. So this is your inventory list of the colours that has come with and it has the corresponding number code. Okay so I can tell that 626 pink one belongs in number 8. So I will definitely be uh, I'll definitely be renumbering those. Now, I don't have perfect little white circles stickers that would fit on top of these things, but what I do have is washi tape and a sharpie, and so that will work just fine for me. 23, 24 colours, uh, with a couple of extra of the number 21, which is obviously the one that we, this, this green that is, you know, kind of, we need a lot more of. So what I'm thinking now is that I would love to swatch them out because a few of these colours look really light and from the last one I, I know that these pale colours, particularly pinks and yellows, uh, have a tendency to sometimes be a little bit see-through. So I am just using this little uh, reference guide, uh, the, the outline guide, as a little bit of a swatching template. I'm just drawing squares for each one of the colours and I'm just putting a light line, pencil line through uh, each of the little boxes just so that I can um, get a little bit of idea, an idea of the, uh, the transparency. So I'm not using any, um, any flow aid or water 
in any of these to begin with. Um, I may when I actually start painting it for the first time. But just for swatching it out, I just want to see how they see how they roll straight out of the box. I think that is just a beautiful palette. I really, I really do like it. They are beautiful fairy tale colours for a fairy tale artwork, and I'm really, really keen to, to get into this painting. But I will finish the other one first. So the only colour here that probably gives me pause is the bright yellow number two. It is one that I can see through. Uh, even even the white, the, you know, the the really her really pale skin tones um, have have quite good opacity, um, but again the yellow is a little bit problematic. But other than that, they are lovely. Every single one in in uh, in its little pot, the consistency is exactly the same, identical through all of them. None of them are runny. None of them are overly thick. They are all very smooth and creamy. None of them have suffered any drying or any problems like that at all. They are drying to like a like a semi gloss. A matte to a semi gloss finish which I am happy about because I don't really like a gloss finish uh, in my artwork uh, so so I'm happy with you know like up to a satin kind of finish there's none there that is inconsistent with the rest of the color palette so what I'm thinking is I won't do the the uh, the diamond painting on camera because that's not particularly interesting to, to watch me do that, but I will show you her when she is finished. Uh, but if you would like to watch me paint this and you would like me to make a, you know, a little mini series about that, I think we could probably do it in two videos. You know, one where I did the back, uh, all the shading and the trees, and then finishing it off in the second part uh, with with the beautiful beautiful red riding hood and the focardi flowers here at the front if you would like to see me do that let me know in the comments um, and i will do it or if there's um, you know another one of hers maybe if anyone's looking at the crafties website that they would like me to to try um, let me know in the comments what you think all right i think that is it for today Thanks so much for following along, guys. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye now.